hola, post-Mormon missionary style. Did you know today is Mormon Appreciation Day? Whack. Oh, we appreciated them. Lay it on. Lay it on for me? Obama style. I need to chime in. I'm not going to leave it. Of course you're not going to lead it. You're already not leading. Which is the number one reason we can't be more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright people, here's how it went down. It turned out fantastically, I like to say. Do you think? I think so. Um, I enjoy it more than I thought I would. Oh, holy moly, you were enjoying it. You were like Mr. Longwinded. Number one, you should know of our two different social anxiety disorders. Mine is to get extremely stressed out beforehand, and I did practice my um, what I was going to say with many people today. I also had a drink before they came, which was decidedly unmormon. I think I did that on purpose. Don't worry, I had a piece of gum afterwards. Um, Mr. F likes to not think about it, and then in the moment, start to get carried away. Talk on and on and <laughs> on and on and on and on and on not necessarily making any sense and giving them false hope that you are ripe for conversion. Oh please, it happened. So here's how it went down. This is what's interesting to know. They arrive, right? I made goulash, I made crescent rolls, I had salad. They show up and lo and behold, one of them was different. It wasn't our same old two normal guys. It was the young newbie, and then some guy who was clearly more senior. You knew it the moment you saw him. He's weeks away from finishing his ministry, uh, mission. Uh, yeah, mission. So, and yeah, he's obviously like. You could big sense guns. it. Yeah, you could sense it. And as soon as he came in, I was like, "Holy shit!" They sent in the big guns. Like they're really trying to close the deal. They realize they need you know to pull this one in. Or do you think that they sent this guy in to be like making the call? on whether or not, like, we're worth the effort. I think that that is what has happened to now, but I think they sent him in because here's the deal. Our first two missionaries were both newbies. One had only been on the ground for two months, not even, and the other one had only been on for four months. They didn't really know what they were doing. Um, and you knew it, and you knew it. So, and they were kind of, they also suffered from stress disorder, and they were pretty long-winded at times. Um... I think they sent this guy in to do more to help to help these guys. I don't know. Anyway, they show up, and I was just like, holy crap, this is going to be serious. Plus, I was like, he's not our normal guy. We already have a relationship with the other guy. Like, this is going to be... One time. Two times, dude. They came twice. This was their third visit. Well, I guess that's true. We'll leave it. Um... The first visit, you weren't with them. You were in the hallway hanging pictures. Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, that was our first visit. Okay. So I was thinking, like, now I've already told the other two guys that I'm not really interested in converting. I'm going along with all this stuff because I don't know how to say no. <laughs> and now I'm going to start all over again. It was really it was sending me back. But we had... The first thing we talked about the election because, of course, they can't watch TV or read anything, so they were interested to know about that. Then during dinner we talked about the Biltmore Estate, which was a fascinating discussion. <laughs> and yeah. why are you laughing? Uh, well, it was fine. It was yeah. a perfectly good conversation. All right. Then we sit down for the lesson. Now, one of the problems with these is that they can't come until Mr. F comes home. And then, of course, we have to ignore the kids the whole time, you know? So it was kind of like, that is kind of unfortunate. But we sit down for the lesson. And I will say, I personally feel I did a great job right from the start of making it clear that I am not interested in converting. I, s I flat out said that. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Then I made it very clear that I honor and fully respect. <laughs> I did. That's how I'm happy. What? Honor no. me? No. Oh, okay that I honor and fully respect that they, that this is their belief, that they believe in it enough to sacrifice two years of their life, that, you know, you know, that I think that's great, I think it's great to have a belief and a passion and, you know, all that, but that it isn't our belief or my personal mission and that I have a different feeling about religion. I did all that. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
And you know it worked because they stopped with the readings. Oh, yeah, before that they were asking you what you read. Yeah, they didn't do a lot of readings with that. All right, then here's where things go awry. They start asking us the newbie. You could see the older one was kind of like, I almost converted him to not be <laughs> <laughs> I might have been able to. You could, you could tell. You could tell. Anyway, he understood exactly what I was saying. And I will say, you know what the difference between the two of them is? Two years difference between being 19 and 21 is a big difference in a guy of that age. Group. Mm. And you could tell. There was definitely a maturity and intellectual difference. For sure. So the older guy understood this is probably not going to happen, but he was uh, interested, maybe, in what I had to say mm -hmm. about my interpretation of what they would say. They would say something like, but do you think you could pray to God or whatever? And then I would explain my version of what I think that is. Oh, yeah, right. go that wasn't long-winded. Then nothing, nothing was. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> At least it was relevant to the conversation. Oh my God! When that you got went into on forever, they were eating it up. Oh God! I was going to sleep. Oh jeez, Louise, you were going to sleep. Wait until you get into your whole Catholicism thing that went on for like literally forty-five <laughs> straight minutes. <laughs> about how? I mean, you know what the best part of that is that you don't know if you weigh Mormonism and Catholicism like at the end of the day. You don't really know anything about Mormonism. You haven't really done any research. You only know what I tell you. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What? And then when I said something like there's no reason why that could be more or less true than the Catholic? No, that so. would make sense. You went on and on and on about how you don't know that you sit down and you debate it and if you were going to do anything you'd you know, be more comfortable with Catholicism because that's what you grew up with. Were you like out of your mind when you said that you don't remember anything you said? And then when you got into the whole, you know, 800 years of there not being a leadership. Hello? No, 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 no. I was saying that there's no way I'm ever going to be able to, um... That's not what you said. ...have this moment of clarity that they have, that I, you know, now I know I'm Mormon and this is the one truth, whatever. Like, that's never going to happen because I'm too, um... A, I'm too skeptical, and I said that about oh, all, Jesus of, all this stuff, and you I said, said like, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna, how am I ever gonna be able to reconcile, like, between whether it's true or not, and whether Catholic, you know, what I grew up knowing all along. Do you actually debate whether the Catholic Church that you grew up knowing all along was true? No. Well, so then why is, why does no, it I'm saying, like, debate? even if I ever had the moment of, of <laughs> I think you're getting of, why this got long-winded. No, I mean... I said, like, I will never gonna have that moment where I know the truth because even then I'm gonna have this I'm gonna have doubt. Here that would be like the most that would be like your closing paragraph to your hour long discourse to yourself only about all that stuff. Oh my god, it wasn't that. I mean I'm not gonna be religious period, but if for some reason I started to get sucked back in, it would be pretty hard for me not to keep incorporating what I already know. Yeah, but let's say this. You're not going to be religious, period, which you never did say. In fact, I had to interrupt and say it oh, for you. I think it was pretty clear at the end when they basically said, we'll come back to talk to you. No, that's because I specifically said, you're not going to, you're not interested, you're not missing it from your life. Yeah, and they asked I, me straight up when I was going to do the reading, and I said no. That was and at the I end. didn't do the reading before Shh, they came. That was at the end. But I'm the one who said for you that you, you're you not going to do it. All along, you were saying how the new authority made sense. My God, you should have watched your face. It was <laughs> like you were having a revelation right then. No. I can't believe they didn't just, like, baptize you on the spot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you were really, you were acting so into it as if the new authority was a revelation to you. Oh, no, I thought it was fascinating. Yeah, well, you were, your face was saying, I'm Mormon. <laughs> 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 All right, check, check.